Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Creative Crafting World TV. And here this afternoon with Craftoon Delight with me, Hells. Thank you for joining us. As ever, I've got some amazing deals for you, which I will be talking through. Um, do you know what? We've got fanciful florals, and I absolutely love this kit. It's the Paper Boutique kit, and I think anyone who loves Paper Boutique is going to absolutely adore this. So drop me a comment. Tell me what you're up to this afternoon. I know it's here in Leicestershire. The sun is shining. It is glorious. So are you having a little cup of tea after doing a bit of gardening? Are you putting your feet up? I hope you're watching. Leave me a comment so then we can have a little chat. So I'm going to start off by telling you all about our website. So if you want to place an order for any of the items that you've seen on the show today, our website details are www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. On the website, you're going to find a little area that's got a tab that says Creative Crafting World TV. If you hit that tab, then that's going to open up all of the items that we're featuring today. So you'll see that we've got our fanciful florals. We've also got some excellent deals on Linda's black card, Linda's white card, the Craft Lion card, and also cards and envelopes as well. If you haven't already joined our membership club, then also on the website, you can find details for that. So recently revamped, we've now got a gem system. So the more you spend, the more discounts you can have. But the basic discount that you're going to receive is 10% on all of your orders. And you'll also get a free gift when you join. And that's £10 a year to join our club. Again, check out the website for all the details there. Postage is $3.95, applied at checkout. However, if you are having a little crafty treat today, then it's free postage and packing on all orders over £25. Payment, if you want to pay by credit or debit card, we accept those. And we've also got Klarna as an option. Again, all the T's and C's are on the website for you to have a peruse of. Also, finally, don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. That means every time we go live, you'll get a notification so you won't miss out on any of our goodies. I'm going to start off by saying, hi Dawn, good to see you, thanks for joining us. Anybody else, don't be shy, leave me a comment so we can have a little natter. I'm going to go through the star of the show, which is... The Paper Boutique Fanciful Florals. So this is a four part collection and I need to tell you about how much this costs. It's £45.96 normally. Today we are doing it on a really special deal of £15. Honestly I've been demonstrating Paper Boutique now for well over two years. I have never seen a full Paper Boutique collection be £15. I've never seen it less than £20 even on a sales show. So that means that if you buy this today and you are in the club and you've got your 10%, it'll actually cost you £13.50, so even more savings. So starting off with the first part of the collection, which is your paper kit. Now in your paper kit, it's 8 by 8 in size. You have got 36 sheets, 6 designs and 6 of each with your pattern papers. And you've also got die cut toppers in here, so there are 32 die cut toppers, so let's have a little look. Starting off with the squares. So when I say die cut, what that means is this has been cut out almost all the way round and you just pop it and it's held in by little paper pips just to stop it from falling out. You'll find your die cut topper sheets in the back of the paper pad. You've also got extra sentiments down there and you've got these beautiful square toppers. Have the best day with love. You are the reason I smile and you can do this. As well as the squares, you have also got the circles. So you've got sending your birthday wishes, you've got these beautiful rosy blooms. The best things in life are the people we love, which is so true. And today is your day. And you've got four in each of the circles and the squares and then four of each. So there's 32 die cut toppers in total. Any of you who've already got our paper boutique nesting dies or any of the doily dies, these are actually sized to fit perfectly into the middle of them. So if you've already got those dies, these are perfect for adding your mats to. Moving on to the pattern papers, six of these. So you've got six designs and six of each. This beautiful background bouquet that you've got here in the gorgeous pinks. You've got the roses there, the little acid green popping through. Then you've got this beautiful leafy background 
which it's got that lovely watercolour effect to it. And again, these papers uncoated, so if you do want to add your inks, you can do. The perfect companion for anything that's floral is a geometric. And here we've got that random polka dot on that beautiful pink background. Here, some of the florals that feature throughout the collection are here in smaller sizes. So you'll see we've got the little bouquets, you've got the little floral sprigs on that lovely soft pink background. And we've got these gorgeous, another, le another lot of bouquets, absolutely gorgeous, but look at the background on that. It is absolutely stunning and perfect for this time of year as well. And again, another one of these beautiful random polka dots with that gorgeous sage green background. And then we're back to the beginning. So that is your paper collection. Again, eight by eight in size, six designs, six of each for your papers and 32 die cut toppers, eight designs in those. And this is 150 GSM for the papers and 300 GSM for your die cut toppers. So moving on, the next pad that you're going to get is the embellishment pad. So in your embellishment pad, eight by eight in size, 36 sheets, six designs, six of each. And again, this is 150 GSM. And this is also uncoated, starting off with all of these sentiments. So you'll see you've got these beautiful colours in the background, someone special with best wishes, may all your wishes come true. And you've also got your relations here as well. So you've got mum, sister, son, granddaughter, mother, brother, dad, etc. First sheet of those. Next up, some toppers. So here you're really simple to cut out as well. So if you are new to card making and you're thinking that looks really difficult, it's not because those lines there, you just cut along and then pop them onto the front of your card. These beautiful bogeys, they speak for themselves, don't they? You've got this little bit of sparkle going on in here as well, which I'm not sure that it's picking up on the camera, but once you get that home, you're going to see it. Now, whenever you print anything that you want it to look sparkly, that's the quality of the print because it actually looks like it's glittered. So maybe it's just add a little bit of glossy accents to that and that will really judge that up. Next, we have got the paper borders and you'll see that we've got some that are going vertically and some that are going horizontally. Then the next page are the paper panels. So your paper panels here, you'll see you've got your long strip. These make excellent bookmarks. Cut that out and do something to the back of it. Maybe add some little pattern papers and then laminate it. Add a little tassel. You've got a little wipe down bookmark. You've also got your paper panels here and extra sentiments and your rectangle shapes here already look like the matting and the layering has been done the way that this has been designed more toppers this time with a circle background so if you do want to take in any of those dies that you've got any of the nesting dies you could cut that out and then use a second one and go in and fussy cut around so you could actually lift it up and make some more dimension from it and then the last page is more sentiment so every day is a new journey with all my love just for you with love and congratulations and you've also got your in-laws here so sister-in-law father-in-law Son-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law and daughter-in-law. So pretty much a comprehensive collection of relations in this pad. So this is your embellishment pad. Just to recap, 8 by 8 in size, 150 GSM, 36 sheets, 6 designs, 6 of each. Okay, so that is the first two pages, uh, the first two collections of this. So next up, we have got inserts. So here, 40 sheets, 10 designs, you've got four of each. This is 120 GSM. Again, beautiful and uncoated. Think about your packaging as well because you've actually got extras on your packaging. And what I'm going to do with this one is turn it over. You'll see we've got these little thumbnails, which means that you could actually cut these out and use these on your projects as well. But let's have a little look at these. So opening it up, get it the right way around. Every time I get it the wrong way around for you, you'll see we've got a beautiful cartouche there. So you could add your own print to that. You could stamp on it, run it through your printer by all means because it is uncoated. And you'll see all of the florals and all of these colors are perfectly matched all the way through the collection. So that means that if you do want to use this on the front of a card, then you can. I actually call these outserts as well because do you know what? They're too pretty just to pop inside a card. So, say for the sake of argument, you've got an A5 card and you want an insert and you want something on the front. Simply cut down the middle, 
that goes on the inside, that goes on the front, add one of your sentiments, job done. You can see how quick and easy we make it with these. I am actually going to sort these out, so I might be making you dizzy with this spinning around. You'll see we've got that gorgeous diamond shape. Then the top and the bottom there, again with that little empty bit there in the middle. So that means that you could add your stamps to it, you could stamp a sentiment. This one, absolutely beautiful with that border. And you'll see that sparkle there. I'm actually going to lift that up and try and wiggle it around a bit. So it looks like it's glittered and that's the quality of the print that we've got. And then you've got the oval with those beautiful blousy roses and then the border in the center. And I think we're back to the beginning now. Yes, we are. So those are your inserts. And then finally, we have got the colored card. So Paper Boutique collections, always four pads, two A4 and two eight by eight. These are the colors that you're getting. So you can see all of these beautiful colors. Now 24 sheets, eight colors. 200 GSM, so if you wanted to make your card blanks from these, you can do. Perfect for matting and layering, and all of these colours in here are chosen from the colours and the imagery in the designs. So, normally, £45.96 for this full collection. Today, it's £15, and as I said, I've never seen a paper boutique collection below £20. Also, if you're in the club, you can also have another discount on there. So if you're a 10% club member, that's going to work out at £13.50 today. As well as the whole collection, we have also got individuals. So if you're like what I am, and when you buy the collection, you usually go, I need another one of those, which is usually the inserts and the coloured card. I've got those individually for you as well. So the paper kit is £6.99. The inserts are £4.99. The coloured card is $5.99 and the embellishment pad is $4.99. Now those prices are half price to what they would normally be. So to order, head on over to the website which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Find the little tab that says Creative Crafting World TV, open that up, everything in there that's on the show today is listed for you, add it to your basket and then you can come back and you can tell me what you've bought. So let's have a look at who's talking to us today. Sue, hi, hope you're okay. Lisa, good afternoon from Castle Bromwich, Birmingham. I am currently with a Lemsip as I have the Lurgy. Oh no, Lisa, I hope it's not that Lurgy and I hope you feel better soon. I had a Lurgy last week, it wasn't that one and I do feel better, although I'm still a bit croaky. Eileen, hello Eileen love, afternoon. It's a beautiful collection, it is, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Sarah, sat watching with a cup of tea, loving the gem system, diamond member, so 20% off. Now you see, Sarah is a savvy shopper because Sarah has bought enough to accrue her diamonds to get to the next level, which is accrue her gems to get to the diamond level. I'm getting, you see, I'm getting so excited, I'm getting all muddled. Basically, we've got this gem system. So you've got 10% off, you're a Sapphire member, and 20% off, you're a Diamond member. So the more you spend, the more gems you get, the more discount you get. Happy days. Right, who else is there? Uh, hiya, Kevin. How are you, love? Um, and Janet. Hi, Hell's just sitting with a coffee, chilling. Oh, lovely. I could do with a cup of coffee, actually. I haven't had a coffee since this morning. I've been dead good today as well. I did five miles on my walk. And if you haven't seen my post on Facebook, I saw a cockerel in a tree. We're just going to leave that one there. I'll talk about it in a bit. Because I want to tell you what else we've got on the show. So we have got the legendary Linda's Black Card. So normally Linda's Black Card is $17.99 for the pack. Today, 15 uh, sorry, £10 today. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. £10 for Linda's Black Card. So this is 200 GSM. You have got 100 sheets in here. And everybody who knows Linda's Black Card knows that it really is the best black card. It's Italian. It is beautifully smooth. So if you do want to stamp on it, it stamps perfectly. For stamping and embossing, looks gorgeous. But it's black to the core. So right the way through, front, back, and in the middle is totally black. So that's Linda's Black Card, normally $17.99. Today, £10. And again, that's another one of those products that you're going to find on the website, right? I'm going to need a little bit of assistance Ooh, to lift that because you know how heavy this is. This is Linda's Brick. 
And actually, it's more like a breeze block, isn't it? Or two bricks. It's absolutely massive. This is 250 sheets of 250 GSM beautiful smooth white card. Now, normally, this is £24.99 for the box. Today is £15. And again, you can find this on the website. So what can I tell you about this white card? Well, it's the white card that I always go to. It's the one that I will stamp on. I use distress inks on it because even though it's that beautiful smooth finish, distress inks, add water, it doesn't peel, it doesn't delaminate, so it's brilliant. Use it for die cutting and I actually use it to make boxes and cards with as well. So pretty much everything. And you can see how heavy it is. It's uh, really heavy. Actually, I could just take that home and do some weightlifting, couldn't I? I could get some guns. Right, next we have got Craft Lion. So everybody knows that this is probably my most favourite card from Creative Crafting World because not only is it craft card, I do love the craft, but it's beautifully smooth. So normally, I say this every show, craft card is normally quite bumpy and rough and if you want to stamp on it, you're not going to get that perfect crisp image. With this you do because it is so smooth. This is 280 GSM. Normally it is £7.99 and today it is £5 and you get 50 sheets in there. Perfect for die cutting. You can use this with your scan and cut and the scan and cut doesn't mind if the blade isn't brand new and 100%. Sometimes with a fibrous card you need that super sharp blade. You don't with this, it just cuts it without having any issues. And I've also noticed that when I burnish this down onto my mat, and lift it off, it's not leaving off itself behind. Whereas sometimes with some craft card stock, it'll actually leave behind the residue. This doesn't. And then finally, for the card stocks, we have got Woodstock. So Woodstock is normally $12.99, is $7.99 today. You've got 45 sheets, three of each, 15 colours. So let me give it a little wiggle so you can see all of these beautiful colours going from the teal the mint, the graphite, through those neutrals and the white, lime greens, my favourite, the pink, the turquoise, the yellow, all the way through to the orange and then the red. And that is 225 GSM. Coloured cardstock I use for pretty much everything. Again, smooth, you can stamp on it. And also, you can add your inks to it as well because it doesn't mind that if you want to do that. So let me move these out of the way so we can make a bit of room. And we'll see who else is leaving me, leaving me some lovely comments. So have we got Eileen saying, you're out of sync. I'm sorry, Eileen. I think it's probably because where we are and then it has to go through that and then come back, you say, I'm really technical. Eileen, do me a favour, love, please, if you can. Have a look how many seconds I'm out of sync because I don't know if there's something we can tweak, but I'm hoping we can. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Candice. Listening more than watching with a coffee, but I should be working. Oh, listen anyway. It doesn't matter, does it? Working. Do that later. Helen says, good afternoon, all from cloudy Cornwall. Um, who else have we got here? Janet. Is anyone having trouble with sound sync? Doesn't match Hell's mouth movement, if that makes sense. Yeah, we have got a little bit of an issue there. I think because where we're, bro we're broadcasting um, and then it's got to go through the YouTube to come back out, I think it's just a couple of seconds out. Um, and then Mandy's saying, hi, should be working, filing and listening. Well, that's multitasking, so get yourself chocolate for that, you're allowed. Um, and then, who else is saying? Kevin's saying yes, his smart TV is doing the same. It's a couple of seconds. Thank you, Eileen, for letting us know that. Um, I'm not sure whether there's anything we can do. Um, hopefully, it might catch up, you never know. If I, if I suddenly start talking really quickly, you know, like at the end of those adverts when, they, when they're talking at a million miles an hour, you'll know that I'm trying to catch up. I don't think it works like that, does it? Anyway, I'm all caught up on the comments. So what I'm going to do now is a demo. So I have got, honestly, seriously, I just, I can't get over how beautiful this is and the price of it. If you've just joined us and you're thinking, what's she waffling on about? This is a full paper boutique collection, which is normally 
and today it's £15. And if you're in our club, then it's £13.50 with your 10% discount. If you're a Diamond Club member, then that means that you're going to get a little bit more off. And I don't do maths and I'm standing up. I can't do maths while I'm standing up. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. OK, so I have got an 8x8 card here. And it's worth also mentioning that you'll find loads of different sized cards and envelope packs on the website in the Creative Crafting TV section and they're all on offer as well so if you do need to stock up on your cards and envelopes then have a look there so this is an eight by eight nice big one and i've got one of those beautiful inserts which i've cut down to size so this is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and i'm just going to lay that into the center of my card and then i've taken one of these sentiments from the embellishment pad cut that down a little bit and then that one's just going to bob straight into the middle. But of course, if you wanted to add your own sentiment, you can pop that through your printer because it's uncoated. Next, I have got some of the coloured cardstock. So I'm starting off with this pink. This is the mid colour pink. So there's a, a paler pink and then a mid pink. And then we've got this beautiful burgundy, which is the colour that I'm going to use next. So this is the first layer. And this is 20 by 20 in size so that is just going to go straight onto the front of my card now frugal crafters cut out this center section and remove it because when you put your next layer on it's going to cover it up you'll actually be saving that card they call it gutting i don't like that because it, it, it makes me think of fish so it's uh, the removal and being frugal we'll call it that will we Next up, I have got this gorgeous burgundy, and I've done this one at 19 and a half centimetres square. So you can see that I've got that little border there. So you can see the value in actually taking out the centres of the bits that you're not actually going to see. Then I've taken another one of those inserts, and this is why I call them outserts, folks, because they're going to go on the front of my card. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tape to the back so we can get this one stuck down. If you are a crafter who prefers to use a wet glue when you're crafting, then don't worry because these papers are such good quality. If you do use a wet glue, it doesn't go wrinkly crinkly. You don't have to use tape because some papers, you end up having to flatten them out and keep flattening them out. With these, you don't. So I had an extra bit hanging over from that one in the middle. Let me show you again to remind you. I had that bit there and I thought you know what I'm going to bring that onto the outside so what I've done is cut a little fishtail in the end of it and then I'm going to stick that through the middle so I'll just line that up like that and I want to leave these a little bit loose just so it's adding that little bit of extra movement to the card then what I've done is taken a second one of these and I've cut it out. So I've cut a line down there and then gone in with my scissors and cut them out. So what I'm going to do is show you how I do fussy cutting because I had a lovely message from a lady who said, when you do fussy cutting, you always do it so quickly that I can never catch up. So I'm going to do some fussy cutting and I'm going to try and attempt to talk whilst cutting without injuring myself. So basically, you need a really good pair of scissors to start off with. A pair that cut right to the tip help. But can you see what I'm doing? I'm opening and closing the scissor whilst moving the paper. So the best thing you can do is move the paper rather than trying to move the scissor. And I'm just going to go there. Now, I've cut off that leaf because I don't want it to be too flappy. So you can, when you're doing fussy cutting and you're doing your layers like this. It sometimes is nice to remove some of the little bits that are sticking up because then you've got that light and shade going on and it creates more depth. Rather than just doing an exact copy, it actually shows that you've got that depth going on. So can you see how I'm just opening and closing the scissors and just moving the paper? And it is practice. Now the way I, I taught myself to do a lot of very quick fussy cutting is I stamped a load of butterflies onto a piece of A4 card and then sat and cut them all out. 
and just kept going. Just so you get to the point where you're thinking, actually, I'm getting quite quick at this. And then it gives you that little bit more confidence when you have got these pretty papers that you can actually go in and cut them out. So look, that hardly took any time at all, did it? It's probably gonna take longer to get the backing off this 3D foam than it is to actually cut it out. So do you know what? I'm gonna use my pokey tool to do this because I don't know why. But some of these little foam buds don't want to let go of the backing. So just going in with my poker tool just lifts it up a little bit. There we go. That's that one. So that one is going to go at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is just line that up where I want it to sit. And then stick that down like so and you can see I didn't cut out these individual bits so can you see what I mean about having that bit of depth there it just makes it look a little bit nicer and then some 3d foam for the back of this so I've got my little foam buds and we'll stick a few of these on just going across I really do need to get some more of those foam buds that Linda uses because I had a massive big roll of them and I've used them all so I need to get some more because you could cut them to size then. I actually need another little one about there. And then I'm just gonna add one there and one there. And what that's gonna do is just add that little bit of um, support. But you don't need to take all of the sticky ones off when you're doing support ones, just so it doesn't come flying off your card. So I'm just gonna stick on the ones that are around the edge. And then those two I won't, I'll take that one off as well just in case because we don't want it falling apart, do we? And then I'm going to move that down, lay that over the top like so and stick that one down. So again, you can see where I didn't cut out that leaf, I've actually got that little bit of shadow going on. Right, so I need something to go into the middle that's going to look very pretty and I've got these die cut toppers. So the die cut toppers, you'll see you've also got freebies on here, so you've got those gorgeous little florals. Think about going in with your scissors and cutting them around so you can actually have a little bit of extra embellishment. But all you need to do is just pop them out. Can you see how easily they come out? You just pull and then pull. So they, they're die cut like that so it all stays in place and you don't end up with them going all over the place. And then because it's left this little paper pip, just go in with your scissors and snip that down just a little smidge and that is the finish to your card. It's all about making sure that everything looks perfect and just by doing that it gives it that lovely finish. And then just add in a wee bit of tape around the edge and what I've done here is taken those two colours here of card and I've used the centre of a doily die and I've actually done the darker at the back so think about also when you're putting your cards together about changing the colour layers that you've got so you can swap them about and then a little bit of 3D foam on the back of that and there we go that's going to go into the center and we'll stick that down. So next I'm going to add a little bit of glitter glue. So these are stickles but if you want to use just like a quickie glue pen and then some dry glitter then you can do that but just add in a smidge of sparkle to the papers really brings them to life especially when you've got these absolutely glorious florals to be looking at. But it's such a beautiful pretty romantic kit with the lovely pinks and the greens. And like I said earlier, perfect for this time of year for any summer birthdays or wedding cards would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't they? Okay, so that is my finished card. And I think I'm gonna add a few little pearls to it as well. So I've got some little sticky back pearls and whenever I'm using these, I always make sure that I add a little bit of extra glue so they don't come pinging off when you post it. And then just a couple of little dots there because that means now that I can add some tiny pearls to the topper. I'll just add the three there and then some medium sized ones just to that little fish tail there, just as a little bit of extra something. 
give them a little wiggle and then they're in the right place. And that is an eight by eight card using the fanciful florals. So to recap, let's have a little look and we'll see who is chatting to us. So we've got um, Candice, I read you. Are you working yet, Candice? Are you still watching and drinking your coffee? Um, and then Daryl. Hi, Daryl. Hello, Hells. I'm here now after missing you last week because my laptop didn't want to turn on. Oh, bother. Well, I'm glad that you're here now, Daryl. It's nice to see you here. Um, what's everyone doing this afternoon? Are you just having a lazy afternoon? Are you crafting? So we've got Craftanoon Delight with me today. Are you crafting? Are you making something special? Have you got any special projects on the boil? Have you already got some paper boutique kits? And if you have, tell me how much you love them. Which is your favourite one? Which is your favourite kit ever? Um, I need to say that I have got some lovely stuff coming up um, at the end of the month and in June. And I'm, I have been sworn to secrecy, so I'm not allowed to tell you. But all I'm going to say is meow. That's, no, I shouldn't have said that even, should I? <laughs> Oops. Right, so let's have a little look at what we've got today on Creative Crafting World TV. We have got the beautiful Fanciful Florals Paper Boutique Collection, which is a collection of four pads. So I'm going to very quickly just run through this and hold these up so you can see what we've got. Starting off with our coloured card. So the coloured card, you can buy this individually. It is $5.99, normal price is $12.99. So for today's show, that's on a really cool offer. Next up, we have got the insert collection. And again, you can get this individually. Your inserts are normally $9.99. Today they are $4.99. So if you've bought the collection and you want any extras, or if you just want a few little elements of the collection, that's the way to do it. Then next up, the embellishment pad here. Again, eight by eight in size. This is chock full of loads of embellishments and sentiments and everything you're gonna need for those finishing touches for your cards. Normally, the embellishment pad is $9.99 today. It is $4.99. And then finally, the paper kit. And the paper kit has got 32 die cut toppers in it and it's also got 36 sheets of pattern paper. Now normally the paper kit is $12.99, today it's $6.99. So this whole collection, if I do my maths, is a lot more than the £15 that it is today. Now normally £45.96, today it's £15. If you've joined our club and you're a club member, then you're going to get your discount from that. So your 10% discount will make it £13.50. So what are you hanging around for? Go and order it on www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. While you're on the website, as I said, if you're not a member and you want to be a member, all of the details about our membership club are there. It's £10 a year. You get a free gift when you join and then you'll go on to get some discounts from your orders. So you're going to start off at 10% discount for everything and then if you spend enough, you'll accrue enough gems and you'll get 20% off. Also, if you do want a little crafty treat and you buy some of our cardstock maybe and the collection and it increases to £25, you won't pay p, p because all p, p is free on orders over £25. And finally, payment details, we accept major credit and debit cards. And also there's an option to use Klarna as well. So have a look at the terms and conditions if that's an option that you'd like to make for yourself. So who else have we got here? We've got Candice is saying listening, good job of work from home. Very good collection. Uh, Lisa says she loves the beat collection. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? That collection was gorgeous. I think from all of the collections that we've done, my absolute favourite that I love is probably Damask Delight and it was a really gorgeous navy blue and pink collection. And that's the one that if I want something really classy, then that's what I'll go to use. Um, what else have we got? Boo, hi Hells, just taken my car to the garage to get it fixed. That's our Linda. Hiya Linda, I hope they do a good job on it. Um, and I hope you didn't just hear what I just said because I've been spilling the beans again, oops. Um, Daryl's saying, I've been playing with the mice collection this last week, but my favourites are the two dog kits you've brought out earlier in the year. Oh, I love the dogs, the pampered pooch. Um, 
Pampered Pooch, and what was the other one? It's a dog's life, wasn't it? I love those. Anything that's got animals on, I'm always going to love, but especially anything with cats. I do love my cats, as you know. So shall we have a look at the cardstock that I've got on offer for you today? We have got Linda's black card. So this is legendary. Anybody who's used it won't bother using any other black card. There's no point because this is the best. Perfect for die cutting, you scan and cut. Also using it for stamping on. It is black in the middle as well as on the front and the back. Italian, 200 GSM, 100 sheets. This is £10 today, normally £17.99. <coughs> Excuse me. Next up, flexing my muscles, we have got, look how heavy this is. And I'm not putting this on. I'm not a weakling by any means, but this is really heavy. This is the Linda Chapman's World of Paper Premium White Card. 250 GSM, 250 sheets. We call this the brick, and I think you can see why, because it is really heavy. Now, if you're thinking, I'm going to buy that, it's going to take me forever to use it, Linda is happy for you to divide it into portions and then sell them. That's how generous our Linda is. This is normally £24.99 and today it is £15, so that is such a bargain. I think actually I might have to go on and order myself some because it is such a bargain. And it's so heavy. There we go. Next up, Craft Lion Brown. So here we have my favourite card, which is the Super Smooth Craft card. You can stamp on it. You can print it. If your uh, printer takes 280 GSM, you could print on that, no problems. You can also add your distress inks to it, cut it in your die cutting machine, cut several of them, stick them together. You're making yourself like a little chipboard. Um, and it also cuts in your electronic machines as well. Normally, this is £7.99, it is £5 today, and 280 GSM, 50 sheets of that. Finally, we've got the Woodstock collection, 45 sheets, three colours, 15, no, get that right, 15 colours, three of each, getting ahead of myself, I'm gabbling, £12.99 normally, this today is £7.99. Now, if you are wanting to place an order while you are here watching, head on over to our website, which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. On there, you'll find a little tab, which tap that, it's going to open up the section with all of the goodies that are on the show today. So you can just pop everything into your basket without a problem. So who else has answered me? Who have we got? Um, Linda said, so do I that shows they do a good job on a car. You are okay, I haven't heard. Oh, phew, because you know what I'm like. I'm usually the one that ends up, Linda will say, don't tell anyone but, and then I come on and I tell you all. <laughs> I've been on a written warning so many times, I tell you. Who else have we got here? We have got Dragon's Den. Hi, Hell's loving this kit. I have lots of Creative Crafting World kits, too many to count, and I think I have as well. If pushed to choose a favourite, it would have to be Bumblebee Dance, followed closely by Summer Garden. Bumblebee Dance is amazing, and do you know that's one that I haven't got? I absolutely love the colours. The purples and the yellows in that are beautiful, aren't they? I haven't got that collection. I think I might have to ask the boss. Please, Linda, can I have one? She is watching, so you never know. Strange things have happened. Anyway, shall we do another demo? Let's have a little look at what I'm going to be doing. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I do a demo. I'm going to have a quick slurp of water because I'm starting to get a little bit hoarse because I've been talking so much and I did have that lurgy last week. So, just bear with just a second. There we go. That sounded lovely, didn't it? Slurping. <laughs> I do apologise. Right, so I have got a six by six card here and again, all of our Creative Crafting World cards and envelope packs are on offer and you'll find those on the website. Starting off with the inside. Now, I always work on the inside of my card because I don't want to do the front, make it beautiful, add loads of sticky stuff and gems, goodness knows what, and then open my card up and go and squash it and then I end up trying to put this in and it doesn't go right. So work from the inside out, and then it doesn't matter if you add glitter, glues and stuff and whatnot to the front of your card. So this has been cut down to size, and you might recognise this. This is actually a piece of an insert page that I actually used on a previous demo. 
and that's just the corner which I've cut down. And then I'm going to close that over. This says, sending you love on your special day. And what I've done with this is I've got my nail file and I've just scratched along the edge and I've removed some of the ink. So I'm going for that lovely shabby vintage effect. And this is the quality of the papers that we're working on. These are 150 GSM and the quality of the print that they don't just fall apart when you do t start to take a little bit of colour off them. So sending you love on your special day. That's the inside of the card done. And again, as you'll see, this is the coloured cardstock. Just take a nail file, go around the edge and remove some of that colour. And it gives that lovely soft vintagey look, which I am rather partial to, as you know. So a little bit of tape. And because this is six by six, I then convert it into centimetres because I go down in half centimetre increments. So this is 14 and a half centimetres square, this green sheet. The next one down is the pale green. This one is 14 centimetres square. So if you're at home and you're thinking, actually, I really like the layout of that card and I want to make it myself, make a note of the measurements and then you can remember what I've done. So I like to go down, as I said, in half centimetre increments. So it's just a little hint of that colour showing there. However, if you want to go down in centimetre increments, that looks cool as well. But try to keep it even. So if you're going for half centimetres here, go for half centimetres in the middle as well. Because otherwise, sometimes it could just make it look a little bit unbalanced. Um, bit like me really <laughs> most of the time right then so this is one of those beautiful pattern papers that we've got here with that gorgeous vine and leafy selection on it I just love the greens in this they're so peaceful next up I have got one of the square toppers and again what I've done is gone around the edge and just sanded that back and then I've also got one, do you remember when I showed you the toppers, I showed you that you've got little extra sentiments. This is one of the sentiments. So I've just gone in with my scissors and cut that down. And then I'm going to use a little bit of glue just to glow along the edge there. Tap that down a bit. And then I'm going to lay that flat and then pick that up because I actually want that to be poking out of the side like that. Then I can go in and start to pop this together. So what I've done, instead of it all being green, I thought I want some pink on there as well. So from that previous demo that I did, I've got a few little scraps of card left over. So I thought I'll use those for mats and layers. So you can see there how that pink straight away looks beautiful. So again, everything with Paper Boutique is all designed for the crafter designed for crafters, by crafters. We know exactly what you want. We know how to put things together. So, you know, sometimes when your mojo goes on holiday and you can't actually come up with a design, you can't think what goes with what, all of that is all done for you because that's what we do for you at Paper Boutique. We make it a lot easier. So, no having to worry about colour matching and stuff like that, the boring stuff, as I say. That one I'm going to place into the centre. So we've got that exactly where I want it. And then what I've done is I've taken one of the um, pages from the embellishment pad and I'm actually going to show you which one I've used. Let me just flick through. It is that one. Okay, so we'll open that one up. And what I've done, can you see I've cut out these little individual roses and I've also cut out that there. So by doing that, I've made myself some little decorations. So just going in with my scissors. So instead of using it in its entirety, I've actually used it to make embellishments. So that's what the embellishment pad's there for because you've got so many elements in there to be playing with. So I'll scrunch this up because I like scrunching things up like that because I think it makes it look a little bit more dimensional. And don't be afraid to go in with the nail file and take off some of that ink as well. Then I have got some glue gel. 
which I'm just going to squeeze into the center and then place him around about there. And then I've got some of the little roses, which I can then start to pop behind. And these are just making a little floral decoration. And then I've got another one, which I can just tuck under there like so. And then finally, for this card, I have got a few little bits of paper left over. So any of my little bits and bobs of paper, I never chuck them away because I like to make these little fish tails and I think they just look really cool. So again, just using the nail file just to take off some of that edgy ink. We'll do the same there. What I tend to do when I'm at home, I just go along the edge of my glass mat, but I'm not sure. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh, that's cool. And then this one. So make sure you don't sand onto your dining room table like what I did once. Thankfully, my dining room table is um, it's quite one of those vintage looking ones, so it's got bashes and dinks on it already. Um, so a little bit of mayo, I tell you. Mayo really works because it takes out any scratches. If you didn't already know that, that's a little freebie for you so you don't get told off. Right, a little bit of glue on the back there and we'll stick these together. So I want that one to go there like that and then I've got my little one. Just add a little bit of glue to that one and we'll line him up around about there and then I can stick these over the top. So I'm going to use a bit of tape just to hold that in place. And again, I'm just leaving that loose so it's like a little frill. And then actually, let's have some little pearls. We'll just have one, two, three, and then I think into the center of these beautiful roses, they might look quite nice there. We'll have one there and then one there. So just by adding those little touches, it just finishes off your card beautifully. But of course, if you like your clean and simple, and you don't like loads of fussiness, then you can keep it that way. Just let the designs do the talking. So that's the cool thing about Paper Boutique Designs. It's for new crafters and old crafters. Or not old crafters, that's wrong. I mean, um, crafters who've been crafting a long time. Experienced would be the word, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you something. I don't know what's going on with me today. I had a, a, I had a little chocky bicky before I came on air. I think that's probably what's done it. I had a little packet of little chocolate animals. I think all the sugar's gone to my head. <laughs> right, and there we go. That's the six by six card finished. So, who else have we got watching? Who's saying what? So, um, we have got... Sarah's saying, springtime pals and farmyard friends. Oh, farmyard friends is gorgeous. The way they've got all those big eyes, they just look so cute, don't they? Um, ah, Linda's saying, but I can rewind and she's got lots of exclamation marks. I didn't think that one through, did I, boss? Oh, dear. Oops. Candice is saying, I love the USBs, have them all. I have the first year baby album to do and we'll spend more time looking through the USBs, choosing... A collection than I will make in the album. That's the thing, there's so many to choose from, isn't it? I absolutely love the USBs as well because you can literally just print off what you want. It's having that versatility. And like Linda always says, if you want 10 of the same design, then there you go, you can do that. I think that's fabulous. I do love the paper kits though because I like having a little sniff of the paper kits when they first turn up because they smell delicious. Um, Steph's saying I've bought all the USBs so I don't have to buy the pads but I still buy all the pads. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I do, Steph. Um, need to have a word with myself. Well, do you know. Linda's saying uh, more like a gin or two. Is that Linda that's saying that? I don't think that Linda would say that I'd drink gin, would she? I haven't had a gin. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I had a gin. A long time ago. Shall we have a recap before I get carried away and start thinking about booze? Okay, you are watching Craftoon Delight with Hells. Mwah. And this is Creative Crafting World TV here on YouTube. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. That means every time we go live, you're going to get a reminder 
on your device, which will tell you, so you're not going to miss out on any of the goodies and the bargains that we've got. To purchase anything from the show, head on over to our website, which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Alternatively, if you do want to speak to a human rather than ordering online, our customer service phone number is 01162. 713131 so if there are any items that you want to order and you want to speak to a person to do it then that's the number to call also free pmp on all orders over 25 pounds so if you're having a little treat then your pmp will be covered join our club if you haven't already membership details are all on the website it's 10 pounds a year you get a gift when you join and you get a minimum 10 percent discount from all your orders also your payment options you've got different debit and credit cards that you can use you can also use klarna terms and conditions are on the website too while you're on the website you'll also see that there is a little tab tap the creative crafting world tv tab and that will bring up the page with everything that's on the show today, which then means it's easier to find. So the star of the show is the Fanciful Florals collection, which is from the paper boutique. It is four pads of beautiful papers, starting off with the embellishment pad. Then we've got the paper kit. You've got the inserts and also the coloured cardstock. And this collectively is £45.96p, which for a collection this size, I think, is pretty jolly good value. However, today, I actually think Linda's lost her head because this is £15 today. I haven't seen a collection, a, paper, a full paper boutique collection under £20, even when we've had sale shows. Um, so £15. However, if you are in our club, then that'd be £13.50 with your 10% discount. So postage is allocated at checkout. Uh, 3.95 usually per order, but like I said, you've got your 25 pounds and overspend will mean that you qualify for free postage. So as well as that beautiful collection, we also have all of the individuals as well. So just to quickly recap, the paper kit on its own, 6.99. The inserts are 4.99. The coloured card is 5.99, and the embellishment pad is 4.99. Now usually they're double that. So you're getting 50% off those. So if you have bought the collection and you want some extras, like I always go for extra inserts and colored card, those are the ones I use the most of, then they're actually gonna be half price what you'd normally expect. As well as all of that beautiful collection, we also have Linda's Black Card, which is normally 17.99, today it's 10. We've got the Brick, which is usually 24.99, today is 15 pounds. Craft Lion Card, Rawr, that's my favourite. That's usually $7.99 and today it's £5. And the Woodstock is usually $12.99 and today that's $7.99. We also have packs of cards and envelopes in various sizes. The cards and envelopes that I use are always from Creative Crafting World. There's no point buying any others because these are, in my opinion, the best. And we have some fabulous deals on those as well. Now, I've just seen what time it is. Um, it's time's ticking on, isn't it? And Crafternoon Delight with Hells is soon going to be over. So, you know, normally when we're doing Crate and Craft and we're standing there and the presenter's having a chat and you're thinking, you can see the clock ticking. Well, I'm going to tell the presenter to shut up and crack on with another demo so we can have a look at this collection again in more detail. So another eight by eight size card. Do you know, it depends on what mood I'm in, but I think usually six by six is my go-to size, but I do love a square card. And because these inserts are so beautiful, why not use more of them? So this is an eight by eight card, one of our beautiful inserts, and you'll see I've just cut that down. This is that one that's got that beautiful border. Remember, these are uncoated. 120 GSM will run through your printer. So if you do want to add a special sentiment in there or make it more personalised, then you can do. And also you can stamp on it as well. You can bring your inks in there if you want to, add a little bit of inkiness to it. But I'm keeping it plain today. I've got With All My Love, Just For You. Lovely sentiment, isn't it? And then I've got the front of the card to decorate. So I've got that beautiful sky blue. This is such a lovely colour. It's almost like it's got a little bit of a purple colour to it. 
you'll see when you get it home what I'm talking about. But it matches in beautifully with some of those lovely grey purple tones that are on the papers. So let me stick this down. And again, this is 19 and a half. No, this is 20 centimetres squared. This is my largest mat. Let me bring this over here. Can you see that beautiful colour there on that leaf? It matches so beautifully. And around the edge here, it's that gorgeous watercolour effect that you've come to know and love with Paper Boutique. All of our designs, absolutely stunning. I haven't even told you about the angel policy, have I? That's so remiss of me. Our angel policy means that if you would like to buy this collection, make some cards and sell them, either for charity or for your own personal profit we are more than happy for you to do that with any of any finished items that you make so it could be cards it could be tags if you like your home decor do what i do and go to the charity shop buy some cheap frames for a pound and then alter the frames and you can start to personalize them so you could have a tag that matches the card that matches the gift if you've made a frame it just looks so pretty so here again, another one of those circle toppers, which is one of our die cut toppers. Don't forget, just go around the edge with the scissors, snip off those tiny little paper pips. I'm gonna stick this one together, just add the tape to the back. And you'll see I've used that lovely blue again. You see the blue in there? I'm hoping that that picks up. We've got the little blue tones there. So everything is all thought out, all color matched for you all straight lines as well with the embellishment pad so really simple to cut out now i'm going to add some little paper buds um, 3d buds should i say behind here just to lift this up so we can give this a little bit of depth place that there into the center and then i've taken one of the toppers let me find the topper from in here so this is there we go i think it's that one yes it is so what i've done is i thought you know what these flowers are absolutely stunning but that's a little bit too big for what i need so i've just cut them down so instead of using the topper in its entirety i've actually cut it for my needs which is another cool thing about these collections you can actually do that and everything matches then just by adding that little bit of shape it adds more depth and definition. And I've got my glue gel, which I'm just gonna do a blob there. And I'm gonna place that one up there, just so it's, you see how these leaves are starting to match in together. And then another one of those beautiful toppers that I've cut down, didn't want it there, so I've moved it around doesn't matter that it's got a little curved bit because you're not going to see it. And then an individual rose, which is just going to tuck in around about there like that. So you can see how quick and easy these cards are. This one, I'm not going to add any other decoration to it because I think it's just so pretty on its own. You'll see send in birthday wishes. From the Fanciful Florals collection, which is our deal of the day. This is the star of the show. And let me have a look who else has been having a little chat. Uh, Linda said it is. No, it's not. <laughs> I haven't had gin. It was chocolate, honest, really. Uh, who else has said, do you have to have a scan and cut to use the USBs? The paper boutique or the paper pantry USBs are paper collections. We have got cutting files, so they work with an electronic cutting machine. So that could be your scan and cut, your silhouette, all of, your, all of those that will take a USB you can use them with. And you can also use them if you've got one of the machines that you have to link up to your computer. You can use it that way as well because the cutting files are all on there. But for the paper files, no, you don't need to scan and cut. All you need is a, is a printer and some really good quality cardstock. Also on our website, we have got uh, the Fabio papers. So head on over there and have a look. They're not on offer today, but Fabio and Fabriano papers are the best to print on to. And you're gonna get the same quality that you would get when you've bought a pack. So it's not your printer, it's what you print onto. Linda always tells me that. Uh, Candice is saying, no, you don't need a cutting machine. Thank you, Candice. Um, you've answered my question. I should have read on, shouldn't I? And then I wouldn't have had to tell you. 
Anyway, I think we're just in the in the closing seconds of our afternoon delight with Hell. So all that's left for me to say is huge thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate you being here. Head on over to the website. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Place any of your orders there. Also, if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you know that when we're going to be going live. Deal of today, usually £45.96, is now £15 special offer. And if you're in the club, it'll be £13.50. So all the details there are on the website. I will be back at 11 on Friday with an amazing bundle of deals for you from the world of paper. So please do tune in for that. In the meantime, have a great rest of the day and I shall see you on Friday morning. Thanks for joining me. Bye.